They said we want to be part of India. We want constitution of India to apply to us. We want article 370 to continue. President accepted that. And he should not see off uh, in 1954. End of the matter. Our entire power decision to make the applicability was left to the constituent assembly. This can't be wished away. This what is the constitutional provision. President can't exercise powers like this and say 370 is now otios or it stands repealed or it stands withdrawn. So what the power is both for president to continue or president to discontinue uh, God. If he wants to continue, we can continue in same fashion or with such exceptions and modification. But for president to do so, prior consent of the constituent assembly is a must. Why? Because not democracy. You could only do it if constituent assembly approved it. It was a temporary provision. So the new constituent assembly is being now convened and soon it may mean in the meanwhile, the Lord President may exercise powers in consultation with the state government under 1B or the Lord 1C or 1D. They said, yes, they can. But you place them before constituent assembly for a post facto approval. So the Lord, it was never intended to be permanent. It is a temporary provision. And what the entire burden or entire onus or entire responsibility or entire power decision to make the applicability was left to the constituent assembly. This can't be wished away. This what is the constitutional provision. President can't exercise powers like this and say 370 is now otios or it stands repealed or it stands withdrawn. Now, in that context, we see Article 3, Lord, sub Article 3. Notwithstanding anything in the foregoing provisions of this article, the President may, by public notification, declare that this article shall cease to be operative. So, Lord, he can either say it will be cease to be operative, or he can continue, or shall be operative, which means shall be continued. Only with such exceptions and modifications and from such date as it may specify. So what the power is both for president to continue or president to discontinue. Uh, God. If he wants to continue, we can continue in same fashion or with such exceptions and modification. But for president to do so, prior consent of the constituent assembly is a must, provided that the recommendation of constituent assembly of the state referred to in clause 2 shall be necessary before president issues such a notification. So constituent assembly will send a notification to the president or a resolution and on that president alone can act. You can't you know, rewrite this. It is, it, is, it is not capable of any other understanding. It was therefore an exercise which was limited by therefore an exercise which brought a temporary provision, but temporary in terms of the objects, temporary in terms of the actions to be taken, not by a flux of time. But time becomes important because the life of constituent assembly was only till 1957. Now, Lord, constituent assembly, as your Lordships have been told, Lord went into it in Kashmir. They said, we want to be part of India. We want constitution of India to apply to us. We want Article 370 to continue. President accepted that. And he should not see off uh, in 1954. End of the matter. Where does he then have power to re-exercise that ruling? It will be travesty of justice if not it is now today contended by government of India responsibly before this court that no, it has happened. But now governor can send in and we can act on it. 
what that will be not uh, virtually not destroying this very express provision and i respectfully submit that not it is impossible to not exceed to that interpretation mm -hmm. it was a one time exercise it was not not intended to be exercised again and again even constituent assembly was not given power to do it again and again supposing they passed a resolution later saying now we don't want to get out of india and 370 should not apply to us was it uh, permissible in my respectful submission no so your lordships will have to look at it either way that's why the word temporary is very meaningful as the heading of the article so i respectfully submit that not this uh, uh, article not has lived its life has achieved its purpose number 371 survives because not tomorrow a constitution is amended and a new article is inserted which not we would like to apply to uh, jammu and kashmir also president then sends uh, uh, six uh, government's view and then extends the article so to that limited extent perhaps this article 371 may be necessary but 373 is very clear that applicability of constitution of india per se was only in terms of article 373 and once they decide that then lord no it is untouched it cannot be revisited president become fun functus officio in 1954 so far as 373 is concerned and your lord chief court have expressly accepted this position lord in premnath and sampath kumar both your lord chief have accepted this interpretation i'll make it not good to your lord chief expressly your lord chief have said that and that is not the view now just turn to not the uh, view of uh, gopala swami ayengar no as your lord chief would recall not gopala swami ayengar was not the diwan or prime minister of jammu and kashmir for not many years what he was uh, later defense minister in post independent india and one of the most respected not indians uh, at that point of time but he was heading this now just see his not uh, page pdf page which volume volume 8 pdf page 1175 document 5 the document 5 the document 5 